To make the best use of furniture with her, do you need to intelligently enter your inventory? In order to add an inventory item, first you must add the vendor or supplier. To do that, you click Additional Features and go to the Suppliers tab. We have another video that goes into greater detail about entering your suppliers. We're going back to the inventory screen now. It has a lot of information available for you. Before I would even add any inventory, I would give some thought as to how you want it organized. Imagine you went to the furniture market and you took along with you the perfect report. How would you want it organized? Ideally, you're going to do it by category and subcategory. A typical furniture store may have categories for bedroom, dining, upholstery. Subcategories would consist of dresser, mirror, table, chair, for upholstery, sofa, love seat, ottoman. Every store is different though. A store that specializes in selling living room furniture may want different categories for stationary and motion fabric or leather. You have to go and give some serious thought as to how you set this up. It'll make furniture with her much more powerful for you and make it easier for you to search, sort, and group on the items you're looking for. Now let's add some inventory. To do so, click the inventory button at the top of the main form. And down here at the bottom in the lower left corner is the new button. Your add inventory form opens up and you can simply start typing in the first few characters of the supplier you wish to use. Remember the supplier needed to be entered in previously in order to add inventory for them. We're adding upholstery so I simply enter U for upholstery and it fills it in for me. We're adding a sofa and this sofa we're calling the Red Hot Mama. And now we tell it it's a sofa. Dimensions cover finish and collection are all optional fields. We're not going to use them right now. Now I'm going to enter in the cost. We'll do something simple. This costs $400. You'll notice it is calculated at retail, but it has not put any values in for a freight or discount. The reason for that is we have not entered those at the supplier level. You can go and specify the freight and discount on the supplier's form and specify the markup. You can even control how your prices round. In this case, we've told the program for Julian Designs to round our prices to $9. To actually post it, you can either click the post button in the lower left corner here, or there's a keyboard shortcut. You'll notice the P in post has a little line under it. That means by holding down the Alt key and pressing P, it's the same thing as clicking it with your mouse. This means you can keep your hands on the keyboard and very rapidly enter in your inventory. Let's add a few more items. We're going to add a love seat. That costs 300 and a chair. Now we can create our price tag. To do so, double click on the item you want to print the tag for and select the size that you wish to print. In another video, we'll go into more detail on the various sizes of tags that are available within Furniture Wizard. Now we're back to the inventory form 
We'll select Julian Designs here in the left side and now you'll notice the three items that we entered are showing on the right. It's very important that you understand that simply seeing the records here does not place focus on that item. You have to select it. At the top of the screen right now you'll notice we're focused on the first item in the database which is a sofa called Saturn. Once I click the Red Hot Mama sofa here at the bottom, now we're focused on that record. We want to add a picture for it. To do so, I click Edit to go to Edit Mode, click Picture, Assign Image, and select the picture you want to associate with that item. Pictures are huge. They're very, very important. They can make your store bigger. In another video, we'll explain all the ways you can use pictures in Furniture Wither. But now, we go to Quick Tag and preview this tag. You'll see we've added the picture to this item. I've added three items now. If you want to see the items we've added, I can simply go here and click the list button and here's the list of what we just added. From this screen we can go and create our price tags. Before we do so though we want to go here to the sofa and we're going to add